Hello again, welcome back. Uh, in a previous video I had mentioned that there was easier ways to plot things in Fortran and I'm just going to show one of those ways today which is how I usually go about plotting something which is I, I write a module with a subroutine that I can pass arrays to that will type in all the commands that I need to to generate a file that I can then open up in GNU plot. Uh, so the goal here ultimately is uh, to be able to use this module inside of another program and in the program you know all we're gonna do is type something like like this when our arrays are x and y and it's gonna generate the data that's needed to make the plot so I haven't really talked about modules before a module is just you can think of it like a toolbox and you can write as many modules as you want and reference them in a Fortran program. Uh, you usually want to stick tools that do uh, similar things inside of one module. Like this this module, I'm going to write a subroutine inside of it that makes a 2D plot. You know, if I was going to add something to this module, I might, you know, add another subroutine that makes a 3D surface plot or something because you know, that would make sense to stick them in the same module. So anyways, you start a module just like you start a program. Uh, you, you know, you write module, then the name of the module, then end module, and the name of the module again. And I'm putting an implicit none statement again in my, inside my module. That's kind of common and good practice. Uh, then it needs a contain statement, which says what's inside the module. And the next thing I'm going to do is write a subroutine. And I'm going to pass it x and y. And just like, you know, a program or a module's ended, you need to end the subroutine. Oops. I didn't call this subroutine anything. I'll call it plot2d. Okay. So now that I've made the subroutine, when I call it uh, in a Fortran program, I'm going to use a command similar to this, or exactly like that if my arrays are called x and y. All right. So inside the subroutine uh, is where all the magic's going to happen. Okay. The first thing I need to do though is uh, declare my variables just like I'm doing, just like you would do inside a Fortran program. And the first thing I need to do is tell it that x and y are going to be arrays. Okay, and the intent uh, in, in this case, means that the arrays x and y inside of the subroutine are not going to change values. Uh, they're going to, the subroutine is going to finish and x and y are going to be the same thing that they were when they started. Okay, and uh, one more thing I, I think I might mention just right, right now, I'll mention this real quick. Um, there's subroutines and functions, and you make a function in a similar way, and for the most part, you can write subroutines and functions that will do identical things, but if, if what, you want it to, uh, what you want your process to do is not uh, returning an, like a new value to you, it's kind of... Uh, normal to do it as a subroutine instead of a function. Okay, two more things I need are the size of x and the size of y. And these are just going to be integer variables for now. And then I need i for a counter. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is set my variable size x equal to the size of the array x and size y equal to the size of the array y. Okay, and this size command here, um, it's going to return the length of x. And it's going to store it as, you know, the variable size x. Alright, now, I don't want this to generate a plot unless x and y are the same length. And if x and y aren't the same length, I want it to tell me. So this is a good chance to use uh, an if statement. So I'm going to tell my module that 
if size x is not equal to size y, then print array size mismatch. So now if I try to feed two arrays into the subroutine that uh, are not the same size, it's going to print out array size mismatch. So I'll know that there's a problem. Right, then else, then all this stuff down here is what's going to actually put the data for the arrays into us into another file. So just like I did in the previous video, I'm going to create a new file first, and I'm just going to call it data.dat, and just go ahead and open it. Now I need a do loop. And I'm going to do this for however many elements are in the array. This next command is going to write each element in the arrays x and y into the file uh, data.dat. end my do loop. I also need to end the if statement. Okay. And so that should be it. Uh, so basically, you know, in my Fortran program, which I'll show how to use in another video, uh, I'm just going to use this command here. And the two arrays I feed into it uh, are going to be stored as x and y inside the subroutine. And the first thing it's going to do is get the size of x and the size of y. If they're not the same length, uh, it's going to tell me. And if they are, it's going to go ahead and write the data to a file. So, oops, I'll just go ahead and save this. And see if it compiles. I'm going to do that with the compile flag. And I'm not going to give it a name. OK. So now I made this module file and this, uh, this compiled file. So OK, so, uh, it looks like the module's working, or at least it compiled OK. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually call this module from a program and how to use um, how to use a subroutine inside of it. Uh, thanks for watching, and take care.